So, um, in this um, time lapse, I'm going to be talking to you about what happened, what, I mean, what my plans are for the server. And one of my big plans is to make, like, an industrial city. So, I make a bunch of tall skyscrapers, all with, like, radio antennas. Um, and what I want to do is to make it look like a downtown city of any major city, New York, Los Angeles, Tokyo, like any one of those big cities. Um, also, um, so that's very important. Also, that um, later in this video, my um, my camera changes. and Not my camera, but like how the game looks, it changes. And that's because I, um, I got a new resource pack, which was from Vanilla Tweaks, which of course will be in the description. It's um, very helpful. Um, so talking about my plans for the city, I think the first thing I'm going to do is try to make... Um, like one big tower for um, a kelp farm so um, I can have a lot of fuel and this also can be used as a secondary source of XP so um, that's it and I'll see you guys back in the video hey guys I hope you like that um, intro to the video I, um, I'm gonna start trying to um, do voiceovers over my time lapses more um, just to see how um, that feels for me so as you just saw, I did mining. I mined very far and all for these corridors. I mean, I don't know if you saw, but in this first corridor, there were some diamonds. Um, I'm a bit short on iron, which is a problem. I came down here mostly to get iron, and I didn't get a lot. Um, I did get a silverfish head and some emeralds. I am in a mountain biome where I'm mining. Got a bunch of redstone, a bunch of cobble, four more gold that smelted up. So 16 gold. That was pretty successful. But now let's go over here. You see, um, wait, do I have, what, wait, wait a second, um, I guess I'm not running off the fine, I'll put it on later, I can do that, but, here we go, this is a diamond patch, so, one, two, three, four, five, oh, six, mine around just to make sure there aren't any hiding, um, thank you PPO8, very appreciated. So, there's some redstone under here, and it's nice. Um, mm, but that's mostly it. So, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, um, go back and actually, here, let me just do this real fast. So, we have a plugin that we can go into spectator mode, and theoretically, you can x-ray mine with this, but we have promised not to x-ray mine. And also, I'll show you something good about this later, but wait one second. So this is the house. Um, I kind of went for like a kind of like a staircase design, but with slabs. Um, uh, this is the floor. Um, birch doors. I have two dogs, and can I open chests? I have a... We have some data packs from um, Vanilla Tweaks. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. So um, you can do that. And also... When you go to the spawn in the world, which is way over that way, um, you guys can actually join the server. So um, I'll put the I'll put the um, IP on the screen right now here. If you want me to say it out loud, I'll read it in one second. I have it written down somewhere. I just have to find it. Um, it's so on the screen it'll say zap.mc.gg and you can join and you can join in spectator so while we're recording or playing or whatever we're doing you can just come and watch us so that's a lot of mobs but now you see look if you look down here this is just this is where I just went mining and you, I went a bit farther on that side but now you see I'm all over here and I go back into survival mode and it teleports me right back to where I was um, which way is the way out I think it's this way so, not like you can cheese, not like you can teleport, it's just a way for us to see things better. Oh, there's some gold up here, I'll grab that. Iron, you know, I probably should make an iron farm, and I know it's really early to do to say that, but like, I really think I should because I am running out of iron to make iron tools, which is a problem. So, we got some more iron to say that. I think I'm gonna, um, think this episode we're gonna work on getting an enchantment table, because that's, um, really important to early game. So let's do that and that. 
Um, okay, let's some of this wood. Um, make that, make that. Come over here and make one diamond pickaxe. Um, need to, would like to make an enchantment table. I also like to make it into the nether and set myself up with a nether portal. Um, and also me and Double Z playing are going to make a villager trading hall together. Uh, probably not this episode, but yeah. So I'm going to go exploring a little bit more and I'll bring you guys back when I find some obsidian. Okay guys, welcome back to the world. So, um, it's been a long time since I re um, recorded that last clip. I lost all my stuff a few times, but I got my diamond pickaxe back, I have my other diamonds back, it's, it's all good. So I thought the best way to get obsidian would just be to do that. You take water and put it on top of lava, and it makes that effect. What I should do, though, is put three blocks there. I don't know if you've ever seen this trick, but then you put water there. So that if there's lava under the block I'm mining... Oh, here we go, like that. So now if there's lava under the block I'm mining, what happens is when it breaks, the, the block under it will turn into obsidian before it can burn up this obsidian. You see? So I'm just going to insert a little time lapse of me getting... Uh, 4 plus 10 plus 2, which is 16 obsidian. So let me just get 16 obsidian and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I got 14 obsidian, 10 for a nether portal, and 4 for um, an enchantment table. So, let's run back together. Actually, uh, oh, there's mobs everywhere hidden in caves. Uh, I'll meet you guys back up at the base. Well, big rip, guys. I got blown up by a creeper. Um, I got blown up right at the outside of the cave. I guess it's not fully lit up. Um, well, there's another creeper, so let's just run away. Oh, another creeper. There's so many creepers. Why do creepers have to be the mobs that spawn? Why can't it be skeletons? Something easily fendable. Also, why didn't I just place a water bucket where he was? Put this in the first slot. See, when he's in water, I'm okay with him blowing up because it does almost nothing. Hopefully, I don't drown. I put I left one of the water buckets downstairs. If you're wondering, um, uh, perfect. Let's light this up a little bit more. That'll be a long-term project because I'm too lazy to light it all up right now. Uh, but now that we're here at the base with a creeper like five inches from us, hello, Mr. Creeper, come over here. As I light it up so none of your brethren can spawn. Over here, Mr. Creeper. I mean, that's not what I meant to happen. But it worked well enough that I don't really care. Well, this is not how I meant it to go, but... I mean, yeah. Lighting up your base is always important. Put this in my offhand. So now let's get back up to the base. And I think first we're... We're going to build an enchantment table. I'm b I'm making um bushes like that um what's it called 
enchantment table. Let's go. Oh, I want to get the, the achievement miner. I enchant something, but we both all know. We all know I did it. So we have the enchantment table over here, and now obsidian. So now we need one steel and one flint, and then we got ourselves a flint and steel. So we are going to put this portal... Well, first let's collect these. Mm. I can always move the portal. So if you guys have a better spot for me to put it, um, you can tell me. Um, you can see the cords at the bottom of my screen. So if you join like I said you could, then you can come check out my base and look around and see where I can put it. I think I'm going to put it in the side of this mountain though. Let's get our iron shovel out. Um, right here seems good. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three. So I'll hide all this obby later. Two, three, one, two. A big rip. So I have to remind this one. And perfect. So now let's just dirt, dirt, dirt. Um, let me check on it up here, yeah, let's make a little plateau, perfect, and now inside of here, flint and steel, let's go, so what I'm going to do here first, there's some quartz, which is really what I'm here for, where to go? Magma cubes in early game are actually very scary. Especially when you don't have a bow. Or not. I mean, I thought they were scary, but they, like, suck at fighting. So, now we got the tinier ones. It's also scarier when you have a bunch of them at coming at you. Except when they don't come at you, then it's not scary. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll just jump over here and mine some quartz. So I need this to make observers because what I want to do like really quickly is make an automatic sugarcane farm so that I can have the paper I need to create um, books to make a full bookshelf um i wanted 16 where else can i find me some quartz that's not going to kill me i don't remember placing that down do I come out of the right portal then? I don't remember placing that down. Somebody else may already have a portal here. Yes, I am in somebody else's base. All right, let me um find a way to get back home, get some more, uh, get some more obby, and we make a portal back in my spot. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what you basically do is you um stand. In the portal, right? I mean, so I can't stand in the portal because my portal is um, lit. So if you have a lit portal, simplest way to get rid of it is go and get a water bucket. I left my water down in the mine when I was getting more um, obsidian. So we're going to go over here. Um, the thing that tells me when it's fully grown, also from Vanilla Tweaks. Perfect, let me sleep. 
Okay, so what you do is you can take this water bucket. I've never tried this before. I've just seen videos of it, and it doesn't seem that hard. And you have to click on the inside of the portal with the water bucket, and that happens. So now you stand in here. This is a data pack. So you go slash trigger. Wait, maybe this server doesn't have it. Slash trigger NC doesn't. What is this? Multi sleep config. I don't know what that does. Let's just trigger it again. So, uh, um, well, this doesn't have a data pack. I thought it did. So, uh, let me um go do some math, and I'll be back. Okay, guys. So, um, I got the cords. So let me do this. Um, I just used a calculator that I have sitting next to me. So it's forty-two one o four. So then. Oh, wait. Forgot to check something. Because if one of the cords are negative, then it needs to be negative in the world, too. And I'm in the wrong spot. Give me a second to get all the way back. That was a big rip on my part. Okay, guys. So, I came back home. I got here. I just made a spruce boat. Um, I think I keep on ending up at Double Z Playing's base. So, um, it's a little bit of a problem. But this one simple thing should fix it. I don't know what I'm going to do with all these sweet berry bushes. I'm just getting them. So, these are both positive coordinates. Um, okay, so now let's... Let's move our... Let's move, move, move. One, two, one, oh, four. Oh. I don't have efficiency five, so I can't insta mine. It's big sad. So let's go over here and I'll take this nether gold ore and the quartz. Um Uh, we're almost there. It's forty-two, one hundred and four. That means we should be rounding up on the forty-two soon. Um, bye, bye, lava. See how much dark. I don't think it's that much darker. So this is not as dark as I thought it would get. Oh no. Wait, what? I'm going the wrong way. I need to go this way. How? This way makes it go higher, which means this way makes it go lower. This way makes it go higher, so I need to go this way. Uh, let's just patch up the hole in the wall. We need to go this way. Yeah, that's better. Okay, um, this is taking a bit of time, so I'll just see you guys when we get there. Okay, guys, so we're back, and this I think this is the last thing we're going to do this episode. Um, I have one other thing planned. Maybe we can get to it, but break this block because I put it in the wrong spot. And light it up, and hopefully we will end up at my base. So here we go, inside of a mountain. Perfect. Let us go to bed. Inside of the dog. And now let's go back through, make sure it works.
perfect. Alright, I think the last thing we're going to do this episode is just get some base enchants on my iron um, pickaxe. On this iron pickaxe. Just so we um, have a little bit of stuff. I don't know how to explain it. So, I think we'll... We'll make our enchantment room outside of here. We can make it over here on on over here. So now let's place down this enchantment table. Let me go get my lapis. Throw all this away. The throw in this lapis, throw in this iron pick, unbreaking one or efficiency one, very important. What is a sword to get? Knockback one or sharpness one? Well, I mean, I guess I do have zero books. Um, I'll take efficiency one, just so I get the enchantment. And guys, I think that is going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy, Dihidalsgar, out.